Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's do an example of how to apply this technique to an equation that does not have constant coefficients. So how do we solve a problem like this? Well, first of all, we want to put this into a general format. The general format would look as follows. y double prime plus some function of t times y prime. The y term is missing, and so this is equal to some other function of t. Let's call it g of t. So to do that, we're going to first divide everything by t. We now have y double prime plus 2 over t times y prime is equal to t squared divided by t, which is simply t. And now that we have it in that format, we can do the substitution. So we can turn this into a first order differential equation. We're going to let u equal y prime and u prime equals y double prime. So this equation now becomes u prime plus 2 over t times u is equal to t. And so now we have a similar situation, but now we have a first order differential equation that looks like follows. We have u prime plus some function of t times u is equal to some other function of t. To solve this, we now need an integrating factor. The integrating factor mu of t is equal to e to the integral of p of t dt, which is equal to p of t is 2 over t right here, so this becomes e to the integral of 2 over t dt. And we can take the 2 out, so this becomes e to the 2 times natural log of t, which can be written as e to the natural log of t squared, which is equal to t squared, of course, because e to the natural log of something, you simply get that exponent back. So t squared. Now we need u. So to find u as a function of time, that's equal to 1 over the integrating factor times the integral of, and that would be the integrating factor of t times g of t. I don't think we need that. So g of t is right here. So g of t dt plus a constant of integration. In case that this goes to zero, we still end up with a constant. And plugging in numbers, let's see what we get. So this is equal to 1 over t squared times the integral of u of t, that's, oh, that should be the integrating factor, mu of t right here. So mu of t, which is t squared, times g of t, which is t, times t dt plus a constant of integration. There we go. Now we can integrate that. This is equal to 1 over t squared times the integral of t cubed, which is t to the fourth over 4, plus a constant of integration. And so this becomes equal to t squared over 4 plus c over t squared. And there's the general solution of u. Now let's go ahead and write that here. So we have u as a function of time. That's the solution to the first order differential equation. is going to be 1 quarter t squared plus 1 over t squared times a constant c. Now we go back and realize that we made the substitution. u is equal to y prime, which means that y is equal to the integral of u. So y is equal to the integral of u times dt. And so this would be equal to the integral of 1 over 4 t squared plus t to the minus 2 times c and the whole thing times dt. Now when we integrate that, we get the following. This is equal to 1 over 4 t cubed over 3. And this would be minus t to the minus 1 over negative 1. That's why we get the negative 1 times c. And plus another constant of integration. And finally, when we put it all together, we can say that the function y that we're looking for is going to be equal to 1 12th t cubed minus c1 times 1 over t plus c2. And there's the general solution to the original second order differential equation. 
So we first make the substitution, then we find the integrating factor, we use that to find the solution of the first order differential equation, and we then get the solution to the second order differential equation by, again, integrating the original or the first order differential equation to end up with the final solution. And that's how we do that.